Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? This is Toby with O Line Security, and we are back with another YouTube video. This one's going to be pretty short, y'all. This one's going to be about Virus Total. There's a video that we have out there that we did on a Cyber Thursday with a, with a, a very um, older class, and we were using Virus Total. And one of the comments on that video was that the screen was too, or the, the, the font was too small. So we're going to do this again. Right, because we want to make sure that you understand what virus toll is and how to use it, especially if you're a junior SOC analyst, junior system administrator, junior information security analyst, not even just junior, but you're in the field of security. This is a very, very, very handy tool. You want to be, uh, you, you want to know how to use this. So, first of all, I'm at a website called virustotal.com. Here, let me zoom into just to make sure. We're good. So I'm going to zoom all the way in to make sure that you all can see this, right? And thanks for leaving that comment. Thanks for letting us know it was too small. Thank you for the comments. Thank you, everybody, for all your comments that you've been leaving. If we haven't responded to a comment yet, feel free to double comment. It's like a double text. Feel free to leave another comment to make sure that you're holding us accountable. Thank you for all the new followers, subscribers that we've been having all over social media. It, it means a lot to us. It just shows that the community is growing in. We're actually solving a problem or giving the community what they need, right? What's missing right now. And it's really the fundamentals behind everything we're doing, the why, the reasoning behind everything that we're doing. All right, so let's jump back into Virus Total. So Virus Total is a pretty cool software, pretty cool program. And we simply use it to validate the integrity of things. We can use it to validate the integrity of a file right here. We can use it to validate the integrity of a URL or the integrity of some things that we're searching. So let's keep it really simple. Let's say you had a, a website that popped up on your proxy, it popped up on your PCAPs, maybe you have Wireshark running, or it just came up in a ticket. And you want to validate if that 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 URL is malicious or not. Well, you can come here to virus total and just type it in, right? Let's type in olinesecurity.com. We're going to type this in, and virus total is going to let us know if this is malicious or not. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And what virus total is going to do it's going to ask a bunch of different vendors right vendors are just companies that have some type of product right it's going to ask a bunch of different vendors to see if olinesecurity.com is malicious right and if we scroll down well first of all we have zero hits from 93 different vendors zero of them have reported olinesecurity.com as being a malicious website if you want to get to, to see which vendors that virus total is asking for this integrity check. You just scroll down and you can see a bunch of different vendors, right? A bunch of different ones. Some of these may be familiar to you. Some of them may not be familiar to you, but that's okay. Here's a list of the vendors. You can get some more details on this search, right? When it was first submitted, the last time it was submitted for analysis. Okay. This is a simple URL search, All right, Very, very simple URL search. You can put malicious websites in here, non-malicious websites in here. Feel free to play around with it. I think most people use this. I'm going to go back to the homepage, clicking this button right here, the logo. I think most people use this for file integrity. Okay. URL, file search, virus total is used a lot. Okay. I think I'll rephrase that. I mainly use this for file integrity. All right. Most people may not use this for file integrity, but I do. So I want to know if a file that I've downloaded, let's say I'm working on a student's resume. I want to make sure that that resume hasn't been compromised. Not that a student would try to compromise us intentionally, but sometimes things happen. You don't know if a document is, is valid, right? That's why we have integrity checkers. That's why we have FIMERS, right? That's why we have checksums. We want to make sure that this file is valid. So what we can do here is upload a file to get its to, to check its integrity. That's what virus total is going to do. I'm going to choose a file that I have on my local system. I have a few actually. I'm just going to use this malware that, I, that we created in class, right? So malware64.exe. Virus total should definitely tell us this is malicious because this is a malware that we created and we haven't tried to encode this or hide it, obfuscate it from virus total. It's just the malware itself. 
And you can see this time we have 57 different vendors out of 73 are all telling us, hey, this is a Trojan. This is an exploit. It was created for Windows. This is a backdoor. This is a Trojan. It was created by Metasploit. They're all telling us this. Why do they know that this is malicious? How does everybody know that this is malicious? What are they using to tell Virus Total this is bad? They're using a hash. A hash, a hash, a hash, a hash, a hash. The fingerprint. This hash. If you're not familiar with hashes, this is one of the biggest factors, biggest component when it comes to validating integrity. This hash right here is assigned to this program. Each file, each program, each application, everything has a fingerprint, aka hash. So Virus Total said, hey, let me look up this guy. Let me grab its hash first, right? Malware64.exe, the file I uploaded. Let me grab its hash and then ask all of these vendors to see if they know this hash to be malicious. Do they have this hash as well documented as malicious? And they do, right? They're all tracking that that hash is malicious. They're not necessarily tracking the name of the file. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but they are tracking this signature, this hash. And I mean, this is as simple as virus total gets, right? We'll upload another file. I'm just gonna go back to this home page. I'm gonna click choose file. And I created a document called sample.txt. I'm gonna upload that. And let's see if anybody deems this as malicious. They shouldn't because it's just a simple word, uh, a text file with just junk in it. And right now you can see that virus total found its hash. It's simply gonna grab the hash and ask the other vendors, hey, do you know this hash to be malicious, right? And, and so far, so good, right? While that's running, I'm gonna right click and copy that. I'm gonna open up virus total in another tab and we're gonna do a search, right? The last feature here, we did the file check, we did the URL check. Now we can just search on things. You can search on the URL again, you can search off of IP addresses, you can search off of domain names, or you can search off the hashes. Let's just put that hash, right? This hash right here, that, that virus total found for our sample file, sample.txt. Let's search that hash here. It's the same thing, right? This time we're just explicitly giving virus total the hash. Instead of virus total getting the file name, it's getting the hash based off of our search and looking to see if someone else has reported this hash as malicious. All right, that's as simple as virus, virus total is. Obviously, we can get more detailed with it. You can set up your own account. You can interact with this API. But in its simplest form, this is what most junior SOC analysts, incident responders, vulnerability analysts are going to use virus total for. All right, if you'd like this video, y'all, please, please, please smash that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment for questions that you may have or things that you may want to see. And please don't forget to subscribe. All right, everybody, you have a beautiful day. Peace.